Okay, so it was copper sulfate. Uh, okay, we'll go both directions so you get the idea. So, if you saw this, and we'll do it backwards also. Okay. Uh, well, sulfate 2 minus, so it has to be copper 2 plus. So if you see this dot, just break it into two parts. It's kind of like they're glued together. Okay, so occasionally you'll see dots. Uh, we'll resolve that if you get to Chem 2C. By Chem 2A, and in a lot of places you can see them, just write the dot. It means it's somehow bonded to that copper, but we're not telling you how. And we often do this with water. So water is the most common that we write this way. So, it's definitely copper 2 sulfate. Uh, just the first part. Copper 2 sulfate. Or you can name it cupric sulfate if you wanted to. Now the last part, so this one kind of has three names. Uh, and was it a, did you say it was a hexahydrate? Yeah. Yeah, so going this direction, <coughs> there be a six there. So if I'm going this direction and I see a six there, it's kind of like naming a molecular. So with that prefix is necessary, so you go hexahydrate, hydrate for water. So if you're going down this way, that's how you do it. If you're going backwards, copper 2 sulfate, you still do that the same way. But whenever you see a something hydrate, you put a dot. And the prefix is the coefficient in front. And then hydrate means water. Oh, so that's all it is. That's all it is, regardless of which direction you're going. Uh, so you just need to hydrate. And I think if you did the chem labs, the first actual lab we did, it was like manganese sulfate monohydrate, meaning one water. Yeah, so that's all that means. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. All right.